Hey guys, welcome back to Civil Learning Online. And today in this video, I'm going to discuss about how to derive an expression for the crippling load when one end of the column is fixed and the other end is free. In the previous video, I have discussed discussed about how to derive an expression when both end of the column was hinged. There are basically four cases of loading or the end condition of the long column, and uh, I have already discussed about those in the previous videos also and I am go going to show you here again uh, when there are four cases and first one of them is uh, both in hinged both in fixed one in fixed and other free and this is what we are discussing in this video and the third one fourth one is one in fixed and other hinged we will discuss about all these four cases in each and every lectures and uh, we and in this video i will be driving this expression pi square ei upon 4 l square so without any further delay let's get started so here now beginning the solution uh, of this or der derivation of this expression we have uh, we have considered uh, for the section x from the support A uh, and the deflection at distance x from support A is y and due to this load P the column w w free end that is B is uh, deflected from B to B dash it is deflected from B to B dash and uh, whenever such this type of expression is asked in exam then we have to proceed with some uh, language that is we need to mention uh, write some point lines here uh, what we have done in this diagram what we have shown in this diagram and after writing that we will proceed with the uh, derivation of this expression so uh, i am first writing the express things what we have done in this diagram what this diagram is showing and then after that we will derive the expression so here we go so here i have written that consider any section at distance x from the fixed in a we have considered uh, any dist uh, any section at distance which is consider section x1 x1 which is at distance x from the support a similarly uh, y is the deflection of the section deflection of the section at uh, uh, deflection at the section means uh, at distance x the deflection of this column uh, see our original column is this ab and when the diff uh, when the our column is deflected due to the loading due to the load p then uh, our free end b has reached to the point, distance b dash and the deflection at section at distance x from the support a is x1 uh, sorry y and similarly the deflection at the free end is a which i have mentioned here now after this much what we need to do is we have to uh, calculate the moment due to this loading and uh, if we discuss, if you ask me about the sign convention for the moment under the loading then here we go when our deflection takes the concave shape then we take positive moment similarly if our deflection is uh, concave then we take negative moment so here our deflection is uh, convex here the deflection deflected shape of the column is convex so the, our uh, moment will be positive and the moment at the section uh, xx will be i am going to write here moment at the section x1 x1 equals to this low moment will be equal to um, force multiplied by the perpendicular distance so p is our loading force multiplied by the distance see here guys the deflection at the support b b dash is a and the deflection at the section uh, x1 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 will be equals to this whole a minus y we need to consider this much distance only while calculating the moment uh, due to this loading then we need to consider this distance and this distance will be equal to whole minus y this will be equals to a minus y so multiply this load by the perpendicular distance will be equals to a minus y and we also have we have ei multiply by d square y upon dx square equals to p times this moment equation will be equals to our uh, moment due to the loading that is p times a minus y this is why this is the similar step we have done in the previous uh, previous column uh, while driving the expression for the column when both end of the column was hinged only uh, the difference is we have one more deflection that is a at the free end there was only one deflection at section only 
at section dist at distance x only so now we need to derive, uh, derive we, we will be using this derivative to find our uh, expression further so from here we will have p a minus p y what i have done i have multiplied a with p so p a similarly p multiplied with y will gives us p y now we will have e i times d square y upon d x square equals to p sorry i am going to bring this negative p y to this side then it will get positive p y equals to p a now uh, either you can take common e i from all the three expressions or you can derive divide each and every uh, express terms with e by e uh, by e i then we will have here d square y upon d x square plus p by e i multiply by y equals to p by e i multiply by a so we have got here a differential equation and uh, uh, you might have studied in uh, partial differential equation uh, how to solve derive how to find the general solution of such types such type of derivative so uh, in order while if such type of expression is asked in exam then what we you need one need to do is either you need to remember the general solution for the uh, for such type of derivative or you can uh, yeah you need to derive but you must know how the, the general expression of such uh, ex uh, such type of differential equation is done it is taught uh, it, it to each and every student in the engineering mathematics so i don't feel that you will fail any kind of difficulty and if if you, if you want the so how to calculate the general solution then you can write uh, it in the comment section so i'm going to write directly write use here the general uh, solution here because if i will drive the general solution in this video then it will be lengthy so i'm directly going to write the general solution of this given derivative so the general solution So the general solution of the given differential equation, this differential equation which we have calculated as per the moment uh, uh, due to the loading, p crippling load P, we have y equals to a cos x uh, root under P by EI plus B sin x root under P by EI plus A and uh, A and B are the uh, constants of uh, this derivative that is A and B and uh, uh, in order to find the expression what we need to do is we have to find the value of these constants A and B, Thick? okay and for the finding the value of these constants a and b we need to apply the uh, this in condition so let me this let us first discuss about the in condition in condition at the support a we have here x is equals to 0 so y is also equals to 0 and this is the fixed support so the slope at a will be equals to 0 similarly we will need all these three conditions to find the value of a and b our major step is to find the value of a and b if once we find the value of a and b then it the solution this expression will get reduced into simplest form and from that we will get the required expression for the crippling load of the column when one end is fixed and other end is free and here the in condition here in condition when our x will get from 0 to l this distance is l span of the uh, a span of our column is l so x when x is will be equals to l then our y will become a so y will be equals to a these are the two in conditions which we will need to apply to find the expression so i have rewritten the our general solution of the given derivative and we need to apply the in condition here so at uh, fixed end at fixed end and uh, let this be equation one and uh, at fixed end what we have at fixed end x is equals to zero y is equal to zero and similarly dy by dx is equal to 0 so in this equation what we will do we will put x equals to 0 and y equals to 0 so on putting what we will have here 0 y is 0 so 0 equals to a cos this whole x is 0 so 0 multiply by this whole term then it will get 0 plus b sine x is 0 so 0 and this whole multiply by 0 will get 0 so sine 0 plus a so we will have here 0 equals to cos 0 means 1 a plus 0 plus a 
from here we will get the value of a equals to minus a how this is positive a when it gets to this this side then we will have a equals to minus a now we have got the value of a now we need to calculate find the value of b and for finding the value of b uh, what we need to do is we have to use this condition dy by dx equals to zero and for that we need to find the derivative of this equation one so let us see how it is done so uh, on finding the derivative of equation one we will have differentiating equation one we will have dy upon dx equals to a multiplied by uh, cos derivative of cos will be minus sign so minus sign x multiply by root under p upon ei multiply by root under p upon ei because derivative of uh, sin ax with respect to x equals to a times cos ax so this is uh, this is this much portion is a so a multiply by derivative of uh, cos is minus sin and theta okay now similarly will be here b derivative of sin will be cos x multiply by root under p upon ei and this multiply by the constant sorry a that is a portion is p by ei so and uh, the derivative of a that is constant will be equals to zero now we will have we have dy by dx equals to zero so zero will be equals to we can rearrange this like dy upon dx equals to a multiply by sorry minus a multiply by root under p by ei times sin x times root under p upon ei plus b times root under p upon ei multiply by cos x times root under p upon ei so now we have at a what we have at a x is equals to 0 and dy upon dx equals to 0 so put dy by dx equals to 0 so we will have here 0 equals to minus a times root under p by ei multiply by sine 0 plus b times root under p upon ei times cos 0 so on putting the value we will get uh, 0 equals to 0 plus b times root under p upon ei times cos 0 means value is 1 and cos 0 equals to 1 sin 0 equals to 0 so we will have here condition either b is equal to 0 or root under p upon ei equals to 0 why so because we have here b times root under p upon ei equals to 0 so either b is equal to 0 or root under p by ei equals to 0 as our crippling load p cannot be zero because crippling load is that load which causes deflection of the column or the failure of the column okay so p cannot be zero it means our b is zero therefore b is equal to zero and we need to write condition here that is p cannot be zero now let us move further we have calculated the value of a and b now see how simple the equation becomes so uh, what we need to do is we have to write, write a line here substitute s u b s t i t u t e substitute the value of a and b in equation 1 and we had the equation 1 equals to uh, I am just directly substituting the, substituting the value of a and b in equation 1 then we will have here 
y is equals to if you ask me then what was equation one then i hope you are copying the on uh, this derivation along with uh, the video you are watching uh, this is our equation one so i'm going to put the value here of a and b what we have got recently so we will have y equals to minus a multiply by cos x multi times root under p upon ei plus a now applying another in condition we have at x equals to l y is equal to a so if we put here in place of y we have if we put y equals to l equals to minus a cos l root under p upon ei plus a oh, sorry y is our a and x is our l so uh, what we will have here a and bring this plus a this side so minus a equals to minus a cos l root under p upon ei so this will get zero and if we bring uh, re rearrange this then a cos minus a cos l times root under p upon ei equals to zero because we get this portion zero so again we will have cos l multiply by root under p upon ei equals to zero now we have to we must know some uh, some value of theta for which our cos theta is equals to zero so we all know that cos 90 degree equals to zero cos theta will be equals to cos pi by 2 or uh, and all the odd multiples of pi by 2 so 3 pi by 2 5 pi by 2 these are the value of theta where the our cos theta is equals to zero so we need to do here we have cos uh, cos l times root under p by a equals to zero means we zero is actually the cos theta means pi by two so we will we will take the least possible value that is pi by two so our l is multiplied by root under p upon ei equals to cos oh, sorry pi by two this is actually if we uh, if i write that is missing step then it will be equals to cos l multiplied by root under p upon ei equals to cos pi by 2 so from here cos and cos this cos gets cos inverse cos pi by 2 so l times root under p by equals to pi by 2 now squaring on both side we will have l square time p upon ei equals to pi square upon 4 so rearranging for value of p we will have here p equals to pi square ei upon uh, 4 l square this is the required condition when we are asked to calculate the expression for the column when one end of the column is uh, fixed and other end is free so i hope you enjoyed this today's lecture and see you in the next video till then stay safe and take care of yourself